Titanium is a chemical element with a symbol T and atomic number 22. It is a lustrous transition metal with a silver color, low density and high strength. It is highly resistant to corrosion in seawater, aqua regia and chlorine. Titanium was discovered in Cornwall, Great Britain, by William Gregor in 1791 and named by Martin Heinrich Klaproth for the Titans of Greek mythology. The element occurs within a number of mineral deposits, principally rutile and ilmenite, which are widely distributed in the Earth's crust and lithosphere, and it is found in almost all living things, rocks, water bodies, and soils. The metal is extracted from its principal mineral ores via the Kroll process or the Hunter process. Its most common compound, titanium dioxide, is a popular photocatalyst and is used in the manufacture of white pigments. Other compounds include titanium tetrachloride, a component of smoke screens and catalysts, and titanium trichloride, which is used as a catalyst in the production of polypropylene. Titanium can be alloyed with iron, aluminium, vanadium, and molybdenum, among other elements, to produce strong, lightweight alloys for aerospace, military, industrial process, automotive, agri-food, medical prostheses, orthopedic implants, dental and endodontic instruments and files, dental implants, sporting goods, jewelry, mobile phones, and other applications. The two most useful properties of the metal are corrosion resistance and the highest strength to density ratio of any metallic element. In its unalloyed condition, titanium is as strong as some steels, but 45% less dense. There are two allotropic forms and five naturally occurring isotopes of this element, 46T through 50T, with 48T being the most abundant. Although they have the same number of valence electrons and are in the same group in the periodic table, titanium and zirconium differ in many chemical and physical properties. Characteristics, physical properties, a metallic element, titanium is recognized for its high strength to weight ratio. It is a strong metal with low density that is quite ductile, lustrous, and metallic white in color. The relatively high melting point makes it useful as a refractory metal. It is paramagnetic and has fairly low electrical and thermal conductivity. Commercial grades of titanium have ultimate tensile strength of about 430 form per, equal to that of common, low-grade steel alloys, but are 45% less dense. Titanium is 60% more dense than aluminium, but more than twice as strong as the most commonly used 6061T6 aluminium alloy. Certain titanium alloys achieve tensile strengths of over 1400 mPa. However, titanium loses strength when heated above 430 AA degrees Celsius. Titanium is fairly hard, non-magnetic and a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Machining requires precautions, as the material will soften and gall if sharp tools and proper cooling methods are not used. Like those made from steel, Titanium structures have a fatigue limit which guarantees longevity in some applications. Titanium alloys have lower specific stiffnesses than in many other structural materials such as aluminium alloys and carbon fiber. The metal is a dimorphic allotrope whose hexagonal alpha form changes into a body-centered cubic I-squared form at 882 AA degrees Celsius. The specific heat of the alpha form increases dramatically as it is heated to this transition temperature but then falls and remains fairly constant for the I-squared form regardless of temperature. Similar to zirconium and hafnium, an additional omega phase exists, which is thermodynamically stable at high pressures, but is metastable at ambient pressures. This phase is usually hexagonal or trigonal and can be viewed as being due to a soft longitudinal acoustic phonon of the I-squared phase causing collapse of planes of atoms. Chemical properties Like aluminium and magnesium metal surfaces, titanium metal and its alloys oxidize immediately upon exposure to air. Nitrogen acts similarly to give a coating of the nitride. Titanium readily reacts with oxygen at 1200 AA degrees Celsius in air, and at 610 AA degrees Celsius in pure oxygen, forming titanium dioxide. It is, however, slow to react with water and air, as it forms a passive and oxide coating that protects the bulk metal from further oxidation. When it first forms, 
This protective layer is only 1 a euro 2 nanometers thick but continues to slowly grow, reaching a thickness of 25 a nm in 4 years. Related to its tendency to form a passivating layer, titanium exhibits excellent resistance to corrosion. It is almost as resistant as platinum, capable of withstanding attack by dilute sulfuric and hydrochloric acids as well as chloride solutions, and most organic acids. However, it is attacked by concentrated acids. As indicated by its negative redox potential, titanium is thermodynamically a very reactive metal. One indication is that the metal burns before its melting point is reached. Melting is only possible in an inert atmosphere or in a vacuum. At 550AA degrees Celsius, it combines with chlorine. It also reacts with the other halogens and absorbs hydrogen. Titanium is one of the few elements that burns in pure nitrogen gas, reacting at 800AA degrees Celsius to form titanium nitride, which causes embrittlement. Because of its high reactivity toward oxygen, nitrogen and many other gases, titanium filaments are applied in titanium sublimation pumps as scavengers for these gases. Such pumps are inexpensive and reliable devices for producing extremely low pressures in ultra-high vacuum systems. Occurrence, titanium is always bonded to other elements in nature. It is the ninth most abundant element in the Earth's crust and the seventh most abundant metal. It is present in most igneous rocks and in sediments derived from them. Of the 801 types of igneous rocks analyzed by United States Geological Survey, 784 contain titanium. Its proportion in soils is approximately 0.5 to 1.5 percent. It is widely distributed and occurs primarily in the minerals anatars, brookite, ilmenite, provskite, rutile, and titanite. Of these minerals, only rutile and ilmenite have economic importance, yet even they are difficult to find in high concentrations. About 6.0 and 0.7 million tons of these minerals have been mined in 2011, respectively. Significant titanium-bearing ilmenite deposits exist in Western Australia, Canada, China, India, Mozambique, New Zealand, Norway, Ukraine and South Africa. About 186,000 tons of titanium metal sponge were produced in 2011, mostly in China, Japan, Russia, United States and Kazakhstan. Total reserves of titanium are estimated to exceed 600 million tons. The concentration of T is about 4 picomolar in the ocean. At 100 a degree Celsius, the concentration of titanium in water is estimated to be less than 10-7 m at Pentau 7. The identity of titanium species in aqueous solution remains unknown because of its low solubility and the lack of sensitive spectroscopic methods, although only the 4 plus oxidation state is stable in air. No evidence exists for a biological role for titanium, although rare organisms are known to accumulate high concentrations. Titanium is contained in meteorites and has been detected in the Sun and in M type stars, which are the coolest type of star with a surface temperature of 3,200 AA degrees Celsius. Rocks brought back from the Moon during the Apollo 17 mission are composed of 12.1% TO2. It is also found in coal ash, plants, and even the human body. Isotopes Naturally occurring titanium is composed of five stable isotopes, 46T, 47T, 48T, 49T, and 50T with 48T being the most abundant. Eleven radioisotopes have been characterized, with the most stable being 44T with a half-life of 63 years, 45T with a half-life of 184.8 minutes, 51T with a half-life of 5.76 minutes, and 52T with a half-life of 1.7 minutes. All of the remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 33 seconds and the majority of these have half-lives that are less than half a second. The isotopes of titanium range in atomic weight from 39.99U to 57.966U. The primary decay mode before the most abundant stable isotope, 48T, is electron capture in the primary mode after its beta emission. 
the primary decay products before 48 TR element 21 isotopes and the primary products after R element 23 isotopes. Titanium becomes radioactive upon bombardment with deuterons, emitting mainly positrons and hard gamma rays. Compounds The plus 4 oxidation state dominates titanium chemistry, but compounds in the plus 3 oxidation state are also common. Commonly, titanium adopts an octahedral coordination geometry in its complexes, but tetrahedral TCl4 is a notable exception. Because of the high oxidation state of T, 4, titanium, 4, compounds exhibit a high degree of covalent bonding. Unlike most other transition metals, simple aqua T, 4, complexes are unknown. Oxides, sulfides, and alkoxides, the most important oxide is TO2, which exists in three important polymorphs. Anatars, brookite, and rutile. All of these are white diamagnetic solids although mineral samples can appear dark. They adopt polymeric structures in which T is surrounded by six oxide ligands that link to other T centers. Titanates usually refer to titanium, 4, compounds, as represented barium titanate. With a provskite structure, this material exhibits piezoelectric properties and is used as a transducer in the interconversion of sound and electricity. Many minerals are titanates, for example ilmenate. Star sapphires and rubies get their asterism from the presence of titanium dioxide impurities. A variety of reduced oxides of titanium are known. T305, described as a T, 4, T, 3, species, is a purple semiconductor produced by reduction of TO2 with hydrogen at high temperatures, and is used industrially when surfaces need to be vapor coated with titanium dioxide. It evaporates as pure TO whilst TO2 evaporates as a mixture of oxides and deposits coatings with variable refractive index. Also known as T2O3, with a carborundum structure, and TO, with the rock salt structure, although often non stoichiometric. The orc oxides of titanium, 4, prepared by reacting TCl4 with alcohols, are colorless compounds that convert to the dioxide on reaction with water. They are industrially useful for depositing solid TO2 via the sol gel process. Titanium isopropoxide is used in the synthesis of chiral organic compounds via the Sharpless epoxidation. Titanium forms a variety of sulfides, but only TS2 has attracted significant interest. It adopts a layered structure and was used as a cathode in the development of lithium batteries. Since T, 4, is a hard cation, the sulfides of titanium are unstable tend to hydrolyze to the oxide with release of hydrogen sulfide. Nitrides, carbides, titanium nitride, having a hardness equivalent to sapphire and carborundum, is often used to coat cutting tools, such as drill bits. It also finds use as a gold-colored decorative finish, and as a barrier metal in semiconductor fabrication. Titanium carbide, which is also very hard, is found in high temperature cutting tools and coatings. Halides, titanium tetrachloride chloride, TCL4, is a colorless volatile liquid that in air hydrolyzes with spectacular emissoin of white clouds. Via the Kroll process, TCL4 is produced in the conversion of titanium ores to titanium dioxide, for example, for use in white paint. It is widely used in organic chemistry as a Lewis acid, for example in the Mukayama odor condensation. In the Van Arkel process, titanium tetradide is generated in the production of high-purity titanium metal. Titanium, 3, and titanium, 2, also form stable chlorides. A notable example is titanium, 3, chloride, which is used as a catalyst for production of polyolefins and a reducing agent in organic chemistry. Organometallic complexes Owing to the important role of titanium compounds as polymerization catalyst, compounds with TC bonds have been intensively studied. The most common organotitanium complex is titanosine dichloride 2 TCl2. Related compounds include Hebb's reagent and Petersis reagent. Titanium forms carbonyl complexes, for example 2T, company, 2. History Titanium was discovered included in a mineral in Cornwall, 
Great Britain, in 1791 by the clergyman and amateur geologist William Gregor, then vicar of Creed Parish. He recognized the presence of a new element in Isle Minot when he found black sand by a stream in the nearby parish of Manacan and noticed the sand was attracted by a magnet. Analysis of the sand determined the presence of two metal oxides. Iron oxide and 45.25% of a white metallic oxide he could not identify. Gregor, realizing that the unidentified oxide contained a metal that did not match the properties of any known element, reported his findings to the Royal Geological Society of Cornwall and in the German science journal Krell's Annalen. Around the same time, Franz Joseph Marr won quarter Le von Riechenstein produced a similar substance, but could not identify it. The oxide was independently rediscovered in 1795 by Prussian chemist Martin Heinrich Klaproth in Rutil from Bojnik village of Hungary. Klaproth found that it contained a new element and named it for the titans of Greek mythology. After hearing about Gregor's earlier discovery, he obtained a sample of manakinite and confirmed it contained titanium. The processes required to extract titanium from its various ores are laborious and costly. It is not possible to reduce the ore in the normal manner, by heating in the presence of carbon, as that produces titanium carbide. Pure metallic titanium was first prepared in 1910 by Matthew A. Hunter at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute by heating TCl4 with sodium at 700 800 AA degrees Celsius in the Hunter process. Titanium metal was not used outside the laboratory until 1932 when William Justin Krull proved that it could be produced by reducing titanium tetrachloride with calcium. Eight years later he refined this process by using magnesium and even sodium in what became known as the Krull process. Although research continues into more efficient and cheaper processes, the Krull process is still used for commercial production. Titanium of very high purity was made in small quantities when Anton Duard van Arkel and Jan Hendrik de Boer discovered the iodide, or crystal bar, process in 1925, by reacting with iodine and decomposing the formed vapors over a hot filament to pure metal. In the 1950s and 1960s the Soviet Union pioneered the use of titanium in military and submarine applications as part of programs related to the Cold War. Starting in the early 1950s, Titanium began to be used extensively for military aviation purposes, particularly in high-performance jets, starting with aircraft such as the F-100 Super Sabre and Lockheed A-12. Recognizing the strategic importance of titanium the U.S. Department of Defense supported early efforts of commercialization. Throughout the period of the Cold War, titanium was considered a strategic material by the U.S. government, and a large stockpile of titanium sponge was maintained by the Defense National Stockpile Center, which was finally depleted in the 2000s. According to 2006 data, the world's largest producer, Russian-based BSMPO Avisma, was estimated to account for about 29% of the world market share. As of 2009, titanium sponge metal was produced in six countries, China, Japan, Russia, Kazakhstan, USA and Ukraine. In 2006, the U.S. Defense Agency awarded $5.7 million to a two-company consortium to develop a new process for making titanium metal powder. Under heat and pressure, the powder can be used to create strong, lightweight items ranging from armor plating to components for the aerospace, transport, and chemical processing industries. Production and Fabrication the processing of titanium metal occurs in four major steps, reduction of titanium or into sponge, a porous form. Melting of sponge, or sponge plus a master alloy to form an ingot. Primary fabrication, where an ingot is converted into general mill products such as billet, bar, plate, sheet, strip, and tube. And secondary fabrication of finished shapes from mill products. Because the metal reacts with oxygen at high temperatures it cannot be produced by reduction of its dioxide. Titanium metal is therefore produced commercially by the Krull process, a complex and expensive batch process. In the Krull process, the oxide is first converted to chloride through carbochlorination, whereby chlorine gas is passed over red-hot rutile or ilmenite in the presence of carbon to make TCl4. 
This is condensed and purified by fractional distillation and then reduced with 800 AA degree Celsius molten magnesium in an argon atmosphere. A more recently developed method, the FFC Cambridge process, may eventually replace the Kroll process. This method uses titanium dioxide powder as feedstock to make the end product which is either a powder or sponge. If mixed oxide powders are used, the product is an alloy manufactured at a much lower cost than the conventional multi-step melting process. The FFC Cambridge process may render titanium a less rare and expensive material for the aerospace industry and the luxury goods market, and could be seen in many products currently manufactured using aluminium and specialist grades of steel. Common titanium alloys are made by reduction. For example, cuprot titanium, ferrocarbon titanium, and manganot titanium are reduced. 2 Fe TO3 plus 7 centiliters 2 plus 6 Ca2 TCl4 plus 2 Fe Cl3 plus 6 Co, TCl4 plus 2 mg A2 Mg Cl2 plus T, about 50 grades of titanium and titanium alloys are designated and currently used, although only a couple of dozen are readily available commercially. The ASTM International recognizes 31 grades of titanium metal and alloys, of which grades 1 through 4 are commercially pure. These four are distinguished by their varying degrees of tensile strength, as a function of oxygen content, with grade 1 being the most ductile, and grade 4 the least. The remaining grades are alloys, each designed for specific purposes, be it ductility, strength, hardness, electrical resistivity, creep resistance, resistance to corrosion from specific media, or a combination thereof. The grades covered by ASTM and other alloys are also produced to meet aerospace and military specifications, ISO standards, and country-specific specifications, as well as proprietary end-user specifications for aerospace, military, medical, and industrial applications. In terms of fabrication, all welding of titanium must be done in an inert atmosphere of argon or helium in order to shield it from contamination with atmospheric gases such as oxygen nitrogen, or hydrogen. Contamination will cause a variety of conditions, such as embrittlement, which will reduce the integrity of the assembly wells and lead to joint failure. Commercially pure flat product can be formed readily, but processing must take into account the fact that the metal has a memory, and tends to spring back. This is especially true of certain high-strength alloys. Titanium cannot be soldered without first pre-plating it in a metal that is solderable. The metal can be machined using the same equipment and via the same processes as stainless steel. Applications Titanium is used in steel as an alloying element to reduce grain size and as a deoxidizer, and in stainless steel to reduce carbon content. Titanium is often alloyed with aluminium, vanadium, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and with other metals. Applications for titanium mill products can be found in industrial, aerospace, recreational, and emerging markets. Powdered titanium is used in pyrotechnics as a source of bright burning particles. Pigments, additives and coatings. About 95% of titanium are extracted from the earth as destined for refinement into titanium dioxide, TO, 2, an intensely white permanent pigment used in paints, paper, toothpaste, and plastics. It is also used in cement, in gemstones, as an optical opacifier in paper, and a strengthening agent in graphite composite fishing rods and golf clubs. TO2 powder is chemically inert, resists fading in sunlight, and is very opaque, this allows it to impart a pure and brilliant white color to the brown or gray chemicals that form the majority of household plastics. In nature, this compound is found in the minerals anatars, brookite, and rutile. Paint made with titanium dioxide does well in severe temperatures, and stands up to marine environments. Pure titanium dioxide has a very high index of refraction and an optical dispersion higher than diamond. In addition to being a very important pigment, titanium dioxide is also used in sunscreens due to its ability to protect skin by itself. Aerospace and marine, due to their high tensile strength to density ratio, high corrosion resistance, fatigue resistance, high crack resistance, 
and ability to withstand moderately high temperatures without creeping. Titanium alloys are used in aircraft, armor plating, naval ships, spacecraft, and missiles. For these applications, titanium alloyed with aluminium, zirconium, nickel, vanadium, and other elements is used for a variety of components, including critical structural parts, firewalls, landing gear, exhaust ducts, and hydraulic systems. In fact, about two thirds of all titanium metal produced is used in aircraft engines and frames. The SR 71 Blackbird was one of the first aircraft to make extensive use of titanium within its structure, paving the way for its use in modern military and commercial aircraft. An estimated 59 metric tons are used in the Boeing 777, 45 in the Boeing 747, 18 in the Boeing 737, 32 in the Airbus A340, 18 in the Airbus A330, and 12 in the Airbus A320. The Airbus A380 may use 77 metric tons, including about 11 tons in the engines. In engine applications, titanium is used for rotors, compressor blades, hydraulic system components, and nacelles. The titanium 6AL4V alloy accounts for almost 50% of all alloys used in aircraft applications. Due to its high corrosion resistance to seawater, titanium is used to make propeller shafts and rigging and in the heat exchangers of desalination plants. In heater chillers for saltwater aquariums, fishing line and leader, and for divers' knives. Titanium is used to manufacture the housings and other components of ocean-deployed surveillance and monitoring devices for scientific and military use. The former Soviet Union developed techniques for making submarines with hulls of titanium alloys. Techniques were developed in the Soviet Union to forge titanium in huge vacuum tubes. Industrial Welded titanium pipe and process equipment are used in the chemical and petrochemical industries primarily for corrosion resistance. Specific alloys are used in downhole and nickel hydrometallurgy applications due to their high strength, corrosion resistance, or combination of both. The pulp and paper industry uses titanium in process equipment exposed to corrosive media such as sodium hypochlorite or wet chlorine gas. Other applications include ultrasonic welding, wave soldering, and sputtering targets. Titanium tetrachloride, a colorless liquid, is important as an intermediate in the process of making TO2 and is also used to produce the Ziegler-Natta catalyst, and is used to iridize glass and because it fumes strongly in moist air it is also used to make smoke screens. Consumer and architectural, titanium metal is used in automotive applications, particularly in automobile or motorcycle racing, where weight reduction is critical while maintaining high strength and rigidity. The metal is generally too expensive to make it marketable to the general consumer market, other than high-end products, particularly for the racing performance market. Late model Corvettes have been available with titanium exhausts. Titanium is used in many sporting goods, tennis rackets, golf clubs, lacrosse stick shafts, cricket, hockey, lacrosse, and football helmet grills, and bicycle frames and components. Although not a mainstream material for bicycle production, titanium bikes have been used by race teams and adventure cyclists. Titanium alloys are also used in spectacle frames. This results in a rather expensive, but highly durable and long-lasting frame which is light in weight and causes no skin allergies. Many backpackers use titanium equipment, including cookware, eating utensils, lanterns, and tent stakes. Though slightly more expensive than traditional steel or aluminium alternatives, these titanium products can be significantly lighter without compromising strength. Titanium is also favored for use by farriers, since it is lighter and more durable than steel when formed into horseshoes. Titanium has occasionally been used in architectural applications, the 40M memorial to Yuri Gagarin, the first man to travel in space, in Moscow, is made of titanium for the metal's attractive color and association with rocketry. The Guggenheim Museum Bilbao and the Cerritos Millennium Library were the first buildings in Europe and North America, respectively, to be sheathed in titanium panels. Other construction uses of titanium sheathing include the Frederick C. Hamilton Building in Denver, 
Colorado and the 107M Monument to the Conquerors of Space in Moscow. Because of his superior strength and light weight when compared to other metals traditionally used in firearms, and advances in metalworking techniques, the use of titanium has become more widespread in the manufacture of firearms. Primary uses include pistol frames and revolver cylinders. For these same reasons, it is also used in the body of laptop computers. Some upmarket categories of tools made to be lightweight and corrosion resistant, such as shovels and flashlights, are made of titanium or titanium alloys as well. Jewelry, because of its durability, titanium has become more popular for designer jewelry. Its inertness makes it a good choice for those with allergies or those who will be wearing the jewelry in environments such as swimming pools. Titanium is also alloyed with gold to produce an alloy that can be marketed as 24 karat gold, as the 1% of alloy T is insufficient to require a lesser mark. The resulting alloy is roughly the hardness of 14 karat gold and thus is more durable than a pure 24 karat gold item would be. Titanium's durability, lightweight, dent and corrosion resistance makes it useful in the production of watch cases. Some artists work with titanium to produce artworks such as sculptures, decorative objects and furniture. The inertness and ability to be attractively colored makes titanium a popular metal for use in body piercing. Titanium may be anodized to produce various colors, which varies the thickness of the surface oxide layer and causes interference fringes. The Gold Coast Titans an Australian rugby league team, award a medal of pure titanium to their player of the year. Medical, titanium biocompatibility, because it is biocompatible, titanium has lots of medical uses, including surgical implements and implants, such as hip balls and sockets that can stay in place for up to 20 years. The titanium is often alloyed with about 4% aluminium or 6% al and 4% vanadium. Titanium has the inherent ability to osseointegrate, enabling use in dental implants that can last for over 30 years. This property is also useful for orthopedic implant applications. These benefit from titanium's lower modulus of elasticity to more closely match that of the bone that such devices are intended to repair. As a result, skeletal loads are more evenly shared between bone and implant leading to a lower incidence of bone degradation due to stress shielding and periprosthetic bone fractures, which occur at the boundaries of orthopedic implants. However, titanium alloy stiffness is still more than twice that of bone, so adjacent bone bears a greatly reduced load and may deteriorate. Since titanium is non-ferromagnetic, patients with titanium implants can be safely examined with magnetic resonance imaging. Preparing titanium for implantation in the body involves subjecting it to a high-temperature plasma arc which removes the surface atoms, exposing fresh titanium that is instantly oxidized. Titanium is also used for the surgical instruments used in image-guided surgery, as well as wheelchairs, crutches, and any other products where high strength and low weight are desirable. Nuclear Waste Storage Due to its extreme corrosion resistance, Titanium containers have been studied for the long-term storage of nuclear waste. A titanium drip shield could also be placed over other types of containers to further contain the waste. Bimediation, the fungal species Marasmia cereides and Hippola macapnoids can bioconvert titanium into titanium polluted soils. Precautions Titanium is non-toxic even in large doses and does not play any natural role inside the human body. An estimated quantity of 0.8 mg of titanium is ingested by humans each day, but most passes through without being absorbed. It does, however, have a tendency to bioaccumulate in tissues that contain silica. One study indicates a possible connection between titanium and yellow nail syndrome. An unknown mechanism in plants may use titanium to stimulate the production of carbohydrates and encourage growth. This may explain why most plants contain about one part per million of titanium, food plants have about 2 ppm, and horsetail and nettle contain up to 80 ppm. As a powder or in the form of metal shavings, titanium metal poses a significant fire hazard and, when heated in air, an explosion hazard. Water and carbon dioxide are euro-based methods to extinguish fires are ineffective on burning titanium. 
Class D dry powder fire fighting agents must be used instead. When used in the production or handling of chlorine, care must be taken to use titanium only in locations where it will not be exposed to dry chlorine gas which can result in a titanium chlorine fire. A fire hazard exists even when titanium is used in wet chlorine due to possible unexpected drying brought about by extreme weather conditions. Titanium can catch fire when a fresh, non-oxidized surface comes in contact with liquid oxygen. Such surfaces can appear when the oxidized surface is struck with a hard object, or when a mechanical strain causes the emergence of a crack. This poses the possible limitation for its use in liquid oxygen systems, such as those found in the aerospace industry. See also References Bibliography External links Titanium, Our Next Major Metal, Popular Science, October 1950 Euro 1 of First General Public Detailed Articles on Titanium, Titanium at the Periodic Table of Videos, A Cleaner, Cheaper Route to Titanium, International Titanium Association, Metallurgy of Titanium and Its Alloys, Cambridge University, World Production of Titanium Concentrates, By Country, Truth and Sparks, Titanium or Plain Old Steel. Popular Science, Metal of the Gods.